Hello everyone. This is an Earth Science Reference Table review tutorial for the Regents exam and this is the second video. In this video um, I'll be talking about specific heats of common materials. So first day we talked about properties of water. Now today we're gonna look at specific heat of common materials. So what is specific heat? So <clears throat> let's say you have water in a beaker you used a thermometer to check the temperature and you found that the temperature is 25 degrees celsius now you want to raise the temperature and you want the temperature to become 26 degrees so how can you raise the temperature obviously you need to apply heat okay so if you're applying heat you need to apply 4.1 joules for one gram of water to raise the temperature to 26 degrees Celsius so that is specific heat okay so you had um, water at 25 and you want to raise the temperature one degree right so to raise the temperature one degree you need to apply 4.1 one eight joules okay so that's for water now if you look at some other material for example copper you'll see this is only 0 0.38 so that means if you have copper and if you want to raise the temperature of copper to uh, so it was let's say 25 degrees and you want to raise to 26 degrees in that case you need to apply 0 0.38 joules Okay, so that's the difference. So water has the highest specific heat, as you can see. So among this chart, um, in this chart, you can see liquid water, 4.18 joules per gram. And then we have solid water, ice, water vapor, and so on. All right, so I think you now know about specific heat. So let me show you a region question. So question number four, we talked about question number one, two, and five last time. So this question number four is actually asking about specific heat. So which statement best explains why water in a glass becomes colder when ice cubes are added? The first option is saying the water changes into ice. If you add ice cubes in a glass of water, it doesn't happen, right? The water doesn't change into ice. Two, heat flows from the water to the ice cubes. This choice uh, may be a little confusing, so let's look at question number three. Water is less dense than ice. This is actually not right. Question three. Remember yesterday um, I told you that water has the highest density at four degrees Celsius, which is one gram per milliliter. Okay, so this statement water is less dense than ice is wrong. Question number four, uh, the, state, uh, the choice number four, ice has a higher specific heat than water. We already have looked um, that if you have solid water, the specific heat is 2.11. Liquid water is 4.18. So statement four is also wrong. So option number two must be correct. Heat flows from the water to the ice cubes. Why is that? Because if you have two materials, ice cubes and water in a beaker, because water has a higher specific heat, so it will start losing its temperature slowly. Because water has a higher specific heat and heat flows from the water to the ice cubes. Okay, so from high to low. Okay, so I think you have ideas about specific heat. All right, so that's it for today, everyone. And in the next video, I'll be talking about some common equations and I'll show you some uh, reasons questions. All right, thanks for watching the video, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.